So I stumbled upon this Gemini for Google Workspace prompt guide. Prompting guide 101. Here you can see you can download it for free. I'll put a link in the description. Now this is for Gemini. So the idea here is you're writing effective prompts for use inside of Gemini. And it breaks it down and it gives you some ideas to consider that there are four main areas to consider when writing an effective prompt. You don't need to use all four, but using a few will help. It breaks it down into persona, task, context, and format. The idea is to always use these four prompts when you are crafting a prompt. There was some interesting information here in this 45 page guide. Also, one of the most interesting things was the most successful prompts average around 21 words, yet prompts people often try without knowing this are short, usually less than nine words. You're just not giving the AI enough information. Now, I typically use ChatGPT and using ChatGPT to create content as an affiliate marketer. I've tried Gemini in the past and I went to Gemini. Now, I don't have the plus plan or the Gemini advanced plan. I don't pay for that. You would need to upgrade. So I went to Gemini and again, I don't have the free plan. And I said, am I able to upload a PDF? No, you cannot directly upload a PDF to, PDF to me, but you can share it. So I tried to share the link, the download link here that I have for the Google Workspace or the Gemini for Google Workspace prompting guide. It said it can't read that. That may be a function of the fact that I'm not in the advanced plan. So it gave me some basic criteria here. And I said, here is a copy of the, or here's a copy and paste of the PDF. And then what I did is I just simply went back to the PDF and I just selected all 45 pages to include everything, all of these chapters, writing effective prompts, introduction, customer service, executives, and entrepreneurs, human resources, of course, marketing is the one that I'm really focused on marketing and specifically being an affiliate marketer, creating content for affiliate marketing. But to go back to Gemini, it says that helps a lot. I can't act the format formatting of the PDF, but based on the content you pasted, here's a more specific breakdown. So it did sort of kind of give me a breakdown here, but then it just redirected me back to, or it said, remember, start with Gemini for Google Workspace prompting guide to get familiar with specific functions, which again, goes back. And the real thing here is, like I said, I'm interested in marketing It's 45 pages. So I went through and read it. But what I also did inside of chat GPT, because I have the pro plan and I have access to GPT 4.0 or Omni right now, I went ahead and I uploaded it. And I said, what can you tell me about this PDF? I think it will help me understand and learn more about how to use AI when prompting you, meaning ChatGPT, what do you think? Then it broke down the guide for me. It gave me an overview of the sections. Again, persona, task, context, format. That was the information how they said you should create or for Google Gemini and really for all large language models when you are prompting them. The idea is to create a persona, define who the AI should be in or define who the AI should be in the context of the prompt, meaning how the AI should act or the knowledge it should tap into. And then task, clearly, clearly stating what you need the AI to do. Context, providing background information relevant to the task. And then the format, specifying the structure of the output, such as I want it in bullet points or give it to me in a table, that kind of thing. So you go through this and it gives a different examples. It breaks it down. But I wanted to use ChatGPT specifically again as a marketer. So I said, give me an example use case from the PDF for marketing. So it came out and it said, marketing use case, draft customer acquisition communications. And it breaks this down. And one of the things here you'll see is what it does. It's talking about opening or using Gemini in a Google Doc by selecting help me write. And this kind of got me interested in because I haven't used Gemini and Google Docs or I haven't been using the AI function of Gemini inside of Google Docs. But before we go, I'm going to show you how to get access to that and how it looks before and after. But before we do that, it said here, write three different email subject lines. One of the focuses on this or one of the focuses inside of Gemini in this prompting guide was to have the AI give you different options. All right. So the focus there, if you go back to Gemini and we'll scroll back up here, one of the things inside of Gemini 
that Gemini has right here is, no, it's not there. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Scroll down a little bit. When I was in Gemini, here it is. I asked it another question. I said, great, give me three examples of content that I could create as an affiliate marketer for a product. Please make up an example product and give me the workflow for the content creation. Now that idea, the workflow is from the prompting guide and that workflow concept comes from using the Gemini inside of Google Docs or inside of Google Workspace, which I'm gonna to get to here in a minute, but there's this idea of drafts. So again, you can see here it says show drafts, hide drafts. Google Gemini gives you three drafts, draft one, draft two, and draft three. Three different examples that it gives you gives you three different examples so you can expand on the first one or you can expand your thought process and you could say, look, I read the first one. Oh, let me read the second one. Let me read the third one. Now, inside of ChatGPT, it doesn't do that. But if you scroll down and you pay attention to what you have here, you have the ability to regenerate. If I scroll down a little bit further here because let me scroll back up here real quick. What I said here was, what do you think of these ideas and prompts? Can you suggest improvements for me as an affiliate marketer or help tailor them to help me pro help me promote a product as an affiliate marketer, taking the ideas that I got from Gemini? And what I wanted to show you here was that same concept and the ability to, and it's not giving it, giving it to me here, but if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, what I'm trying to show you is the regenerate function. So here you can see that it generated the first version, actually aired out here. So I had it regenerate and it came up with a second version. I could hit ge regenerate again. It's going to regenerate that and it's going to come up with a third version. The point being that this regenerate option here is, and you can see it's starting to write now. This is going to give me additional options that I can then select from where I can take ideas from each iteration of the prompt. So the ability for the AI to take the prompt create me, as Gemini calls it, one draft. So again, if you show the draft and it's hidden, if you show the drafts, you have three different options here or three different iterations of the same prompt that you gave Gemini. ChatGPT doesn't do that, but what it does, it has that ability to generate or to regenerate when you scroll down to regenerate. And then here you can see three of three. This is like what you see in Gemini the three drafts, and then you can just toggle through them. Again, you can hit, hit back and you go to number two. Then you can see the second draft or the second iteration of the prompt. So all that information, again, came from downloading this Gemini for Google Workspace prompt guide and reading it and going through all these different examples here inside of the marketing or the marketing examples. And again, it is about using Gemini and Google Workspace, but it really opens up this entire thought process for all AI, for all large language models. And I use ChatGPT, but you could scroll through here. And one of the things was, the idea here is a use case for creating social media posts. Remember that as a affiliate marketer, or if you get into the game of affiliate marketing, you're really becoming a content marketer. Even if you're running paid traffic or you're doing paid ads, you're still creating content in the form of those ads. So one of the use cases here is to create social media posts. Now, if you scroll back up, there were additional or in the table of contents, if you scroll back up, it had the introduction. So you should definitely read the introduction, go through all the examples. But really, the idea here is leveling up your prompt writing. This guide is meant to serve as an inspiration, but the possibilities are nearly endless, endless with Gemini for Google Workspace. And again, it's focused on Gemini for Google Workspace, but don't let that deter you from reading this because the idea and the tips here Break it up, right? If you want Gemini for Workspace to perform several related tasks, break them into separate prompts. This is the same thing you should be doing inside of ChatGPT. Give constraints, assign a role, ask for feedback, consider tone, say it in another way. Fine tune your prompts to the results don't meet your expectations or if you believe there's room for improvement. An iterative process of review and refinement often yields better results. The idea here is that you want to use generative AI and all of its possibilities because it's super exciting, but it's still new. And you also have to understand that you are in control of the output or you have to understand what output you want, no matter 
what input you're giving, whether it be Gemini or whether it be ChatGPT. Real quick, if you're inside of Google Docs and you want to access Gemini, here's what my account looked like before I enabled Google Labs inside of my Google Docs. So there is no help me write. So if I go at and I say help me write, you can see that I don't have that option. So what you have to do is, and I'll put a link in the description, you have to go over to Google Workspace and you have to sign up to express interest in joining Google Workspace Labs. There's a bunch of terms of service and some customer acknowledgement. You should definitely read all of that and be comfortable with submitting, but then you just check these and you select submit. Then they'll give you a success you're in. You now have access to Google Workspace Labs, learn more. You should definitely click on this learn more button and it will bring up this Google Docs editor help getting started with Google Workspace Labs. And really, this is all about using Gemini and Google Docs, Gmail, Slides, Google Sheets, Google Meet, Google Drive, and also in Keep. This is a great document to learn more about Gemini, but also to learn more about the way AI is being integrated into these products. So when you go back to Google Docs, now you have this, collaborate with Gemini and Google Docs. You simply say, got it. Now you can see it says, help me write. You simply select that and it says, Recommendation letter for teammate applying to graduate school. Email to kids principal about upcoming family vacation. Newspaper ad for car auction. The point is now you have access to Gemini to help you write. So what do you want it to help you write? You, at this point as an affiliate marketer, you want it to help write you a promotion. And you'll say three emails for a product I'm promoting as an affiliate marketer. The name of the product is, and you can give it the name of the product. If you want a good example of this, you can go over to AppSumo. I'm currently looking at this. I'm actually building a new channel. So I'm really deep diving into AppSumo. And I'm saying, I want to look at this product called Marky. So I click on Marky and then I have all the information that Marky or AppSumo has given me. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to go back. I'm going to copy Marky. I'm going to say the name of the product is Marky. And now I'm going to go back and then I'm going to copy exactly what Marky does, it is an example here, or this is the description. So we're going to use that in this example. And it is a it is used to generate and schedule social media marketing content for different platforms with AI. And I'm going to select create. Now this is if you want to use this inside of Google Docs. I think it's cool. I think it's something that I can definitely add to my workflow because I use Google Docs a lot. Actually, it is my primary word editor so you can see here that now it's created these emails and it's saying okay here are some suggestions email one subject introduction to marky or introducing marky unleash your social media potential with marky subject last chance to grab marky at a special price now these are very basic and you would need to define personas you would need to give it more clarification all the things it said those four things that it said you should be doing when you were prompting which i didn't do in this case so what I want to do now is I want to go back to ChatGPT and I want to utilize ChatGPT to do this because when I was using ChatGPT, I was having it or I used a prompt here. Give me three examples of content that I could create as an affiliate for a product. Please make up an example product and give me the workflow for the content creation based on the PDF, that PDF that we read that I uploaded to ChatGPT and give me those examples. And it says, let's imagine you're promoting a product called Efficient Pro as an affiliate marketer. Here are three examples of content you could create along with workflow for content creation based on the PDF guide. Example one, a blog post. Then it goes through the workflow for content creation. The workflow here for content creation is research and outline, draft a blog post, create compelling visuals. And you can see here that it's giving me a prompt for Gemini. This is a prompt that I could also use here in ChatGPT. Step four is finalize and publish an email campaign, email subject lines, draft email content, create engaging visuals, finalize and schedule, then a social media campaign. And it continues on through this and it gives detailed examples of how to do that with the prompts to use in Gemini or here in ChatGPT. But here in ChatGPT, I want to take it a little further and I want to say this. I'll say this, Get create me or I'm going to focus on YouTube. So I'm going to say create me three YouTube videos to promote the product Marky a tool to generate and schedule social media marketing content for different platforms for AI. But I'm going to go a step further and I'm going to say, here is the sales page from AppSumo where you can get this for a one-time deal or as a one-time deal, as a one-time deal. And then I'm just going to put a colon and I'm going to leave that and I'm going to go back to the marquee page. I'm simply just going to select all 
and I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to let ChatGPT figure out what all that information is about. I'm going to hit select and now ChatGPT is using all the information it learned from that PDF. But again, remember, it's going to crunch that. But the idea here is to stay up to date on Google Workspace. The idea simply was for me to let you know about this prompting guide. It's a quick start handbook for effective prompts. It was just recently written. Understand that writing effective prompts is the key. There are four main areas to consider, persona, task, context, and format. And there's lots of great information in here about the idea and the concept of using this based upon writing effective prompts, a, a solid introduction or a solid introduction to what Google Workspace is. Also prompting 101, I showed you real quick how to utilize this inside of Google Docs using Gemini. But understand that this is all about using this tool to improve your writing, organize your data, create original images, summarize information and surface insights, foster foster meaning, meaningful connections with colleagues, research unfamiliar topics, spot trends, th synthesize information and identify business opportunity. It's great right here what it says. And this is all about AI, really. Gemini for workspace. And you could just replace that with AI. Helps you work smarter, not harder, increasing productivity and saving you time so you can focus on higher impact work. Now, with that, let's go back and see what we got from ChatGPT. Let's create, and let me scroll up here because it's scrolled down. What you can see here is I pasted all that information in. Let's create three engaging YouTube video concepts to promote Marky, the AI-powered social media content generation scheduling tools. Video number one, how to automate your social media, media with Marky in five minutes. Workflow for content creation. And this is what this PDF has given us. It's given us a workflow. It's given us a concept of creating a workflow. So it was well worth our time to download it. Again, link in the description. It's free. Read it. Go through it. Upload it to ChatGPT. Get Gemini to read it. Get Gemini to give you information if you have the advanced plan. Use whatever AI you want. Feed it the information. And then understand that it's going to give you a prompt for script writing. Here it's doing it inside of Google Docs. Again, because that's its focus. So then you can see, write a script for a YouTube video titled How to Automate Your Social Media. So we're just going to copy that real quick. But you can see here it says visual planning, voiceover and editing, final touches and upload. This is a complete workflow. The AI is giving you this complete workflow based upon these prompts, based upon the prompting one-on-one -on -one guide. Then you have video number two, top five features of Marky you didn't know about. Video number three, Marky, Marky case study. And let me scroll up because this thing's freaking out on me. Video three, Marky case study, how this tool transformed our social media strategy, going through all this information. Now, I simply just copied that first prompt for script writing and I'm going to go back to Google Docs. Here, I'm going to close that and I'm going to discard that and I'm going to say, just going to simply say, at help me write. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the prompt that ChatGPT gave me for Gemini. Write a script for a YouTube video called How to Automate Your Social Media with Marky in Five Minutes. This script should include an introduction to Marky, a step-by-step -step generation or demonstration of generating and scheduling social media content and a conclusion with a call to action to try Marky. Let's see what it does. Again, this isn't about Gemini versus ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT because I have the pro plan. I may at some point in invest in Gemini to see how this works with the advanced plan as well. But this is the free version. You can see here's introduction, step-by-step -step de demonstration or an outline for what you should put in your video. And then a conclusion or how to provide a call to action, such as offering a free trial or discount code if you have one available based upon the promotion you're doing for the product. Link in the description for everything I've talked about here. Go check this out. Check out Gemini. Let me know in the comments. Do you use Gemini? Do you use ChatGPT? Do you use both? Or do you use some other AI large language model to do this kind of work? I'm telling you, it's worth your time to download this prompting guide, read all 45 pages, and feed it into your AI of choice and see what you get out of it. I think you'll get a lot out of it. And I appreciate your time watching this video. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.